Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our push strength. We are going to work out our chest muscles and our tricep muscles with a little bit of calves and core as usual. Straight away I'm going to start with the greatest stretch. Five repetitions on each side ensuring I unlock the mobility of my entire body pre-workout. Make sure you dedicate this five minutes. If you're not a fan of this particular stretch, I don't know why, but if you are not, feel free to do any other kind of dynamic stretches, but ensure that you do a dynamic stretch pre-workout. I don't prefer doing cardio pre-workout. Cardio should be something which is always a post-workout thing. A five-minute cycling or a treadmill run should be fine, but anything more than 10 minutes is counterproductive pre-workout. Now, I move into my deep squat, the mandatory everyday deep squat. Make sure you hinge by pushing your glutes far behind, feeling the stretch in your hamstrings. And once completely stretched out, slowly bend your knees and go into a deep squat and stay there for a couple of seconds. Once we are done with our deep squat, we move into our warm-up exercises for today. I'm going to start with simple dumbbell press while keeping the bench at a minimal inclination. I raise, basically raised it up just a little bit, not completely flat, not inclined up to 45 degrees. Now, while for this particular warm-up, I'm doing one arm at a time to ensure that I activate all my muscles, I work on my core stability, and also the activation of the chest muscles in terms of doing the adduction motion. Remember, your chest is uh, primarily focused on getting your arms towards the midline of your body. So doing it with dumbbells as an activator helps you regain that conscious connection with your chest. I have done about 15 repetitions, two sets with 30 seconds break in between. Now we move on to our working sets. For our working sets, I chose to do the barbell bench press. Again, the inclination of the bench is just minimal, not for complete 45 degrees, neither completely flat. I like that. I like it this way. It gives me a little bit more chest activation. I would recommend definitely trying it out. What I have done is I have taken a good challenging weight where I can achieve about 8 to 10 repetitions and I have stuck to the weight for all my 5 sets. For the last set, I was only able to get 6 repetitions but that's still fine. I got a lot of activation and my form did not fail at any point of time. That's the most vital part. Make sure you don't completely flare out your elbows. Keep them a bit tucked in, chest up. Every time the bar goes up, it should come to your eye level and every time the bar comes down, it should land exactly over your nipples. So it's always a slanting or an inclined path for the bar coming down and going up. This also ensures we have less amount of shoulder activation and a greater amount of push available. Pushing the bar straight up would put a lot of demand on our shoulders and is also not an optimal movement for our chest. Always push the bar behind and up onto your eye level. I like keeping the bar on the rack at eye level itself. So that makes the job a little bit easier because you always want to rack back. So you push it onto your eye level and always bring it onto your chest. Now for the next exercise, I started doing the calf races, the donkey calf races. Again, we are following the simple method of holding, basically creating an isolation of the calf muscles, completely eliminating the involvement of our tendons here. Hold for four to five seconds at both the highest point, the contraction point and at the stretch point. And as you can see in the video, how activated my calf muscles are with every repetition. Make sure you lock out your knees completely so that you get the maximum amount of stretch on your calves and maximum amount of contraction. Because if you bend your knee, you lose out on a little bit of energy and also give a little bit of play room for your calf muscles. I have done about 12 to 15 repetitions. Remember, it is a very slow slow exercise, slow repetition based exercise. So you would take about a minute to complete it, but make sure you take that amount of time to get maximum activation of your calf muscles. You can also do this particular exercise on a seated setup if you prefer that or standing, just ensure you hold every rep. 
now for our next exercise i move on to the tricep bit wherein i do overhead extensions basically take the bar way behind our head while lying down on a bench and then push up never let the bar come in line with our eyes always keep it behind as if you're throwing the bar into the air behind to someone and then start moving your triceps the amount of grip you want to have in between or this uh, or the width of the grip is totally up to you choose a grip if you like narrow grip go for it if you if you like to have it a little bit wider go for it because it changes from person to person in terms of the limb size so try to figure out which is the maximum activation for your tricep so at a heavier weight i go a little bit wider to ensure i don't put the stress on my shoulder for lighter weights i switch to a little bit narrower grip than my first few reps now what i have done it i have done five sets 12 repetitions started with an extremely challenging weight and then dropped down as my muscle started fatiguing one more thing i want to mention when you are moving from chest to calves to tricep you need not take much of a break in between the exercises the break is only required in between sets because we are working on different muscles so you don't have to necessarily take much of time in between and save some time there in terms of the workout this entire workout should hardly come up to 1 hour you maybe you might even finish it before that if all the equipment is free and you need not wait for anything i've done five sets 12 repetitions and post our tricep we move back to our chest muscle again here again you need not take much of a break because the involvement of your triceps is quite less your chest is pretty relaxed because it got a two exercises break in between about 5 minutes 5 to 10 minutes depending upon how much time you have taken to perform those two exercises in between we move on to cable crossovers four sets 12 repetitions with 60 seconds break in between make sure you take your arms across all the way trying to touch your elbows both your elbows with each other keep the cable just about shoulder height and ensure the cable is always in line with your arm the cable shouldn't be too high or too low that would that wouldn't be optimal actually you might get chest activation but your shoulder might start coming in your traps might coming in keeping the cable just in line with your elbows ensures the all the adduction is happening through your chest muscles and try to get the maximum adduction by trying to touch your elbows together i have done four sets of it 12 repetitions if you don't have this particular equipment free or this particular equipment is not available to you in your gym you can always do this a uh, variation on a pec fly machine which i have done earlier also it's basically a seated pec fly where and you can make sure the bar stays in line with your shoulder level and start doing the flies and if you even don't have that you can do it on a bench but i don't prefer a bench because the stress on the shoulder joint is too much while lying down as the dumbbells try to push down it's not something which i prefer but if you're comfortable and if you're confident please go ahead and do that we just need to have one variation of fly for our chest to create the maximum amount of adduction movement every repetition should be producing a maximum amount of squeeze for you to get the optimum results by now your chest should be completely full of blood and you should be able to feel a little bit of soreness because all of these squeezes is rushing in post this exercise i moved on to my core work wherein i started off with hanging leg raises i tried i planned to do four sets of this but but unfortunately my calluses were hurting really bad and i was not able to get optimum repetitions so i got about 16 to 18 repetitions of hanging leg raises and as you can see i always ensured my glutes come up completely forward basically butt cheeks to the mirror or the wall creating a crunch on my abdomen since i was not able to get more repetitions out of this i chose to do lying down crunches again this is a particular exercise which we have done uh, which i have done earlier you don't have to crunch completely up no need to activate your hip muscles just your abdomen muscles breathe in as you go down and breathe out completely and then squeeze your abdomen as hard as possible and you should feel a good amount of contraction happening with every stretch try to stretch out as much as possible and breathe in with, with all your stomach full of air which stretches your which basically stretches your abdomen completely 
So I finished off with two, 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 two sets, 10 repetitions. Now for our last exercise, I moved into push-ups to finish off my tricep and chest strength. I have done three sets of this, 12 repetitions. If you're not able to do flat push-ups, flat floor push-ups, always use an inclination at your hand level and do it on a bench or on a Smith machine and slowly, slowly, gradually come down to the floor level. If you are very confident and you are very strong in this range of movement, you can add weight on your back with help of someone to asking someone to place a couple of plates on your back to get increase the amount of stress. Or you can wait, uh, wear a weighted chest, uh, vest if you have one at your disposal. Post this, I move into my static stretches. For my first static stretch, I do the chest stretch wherein we take a long pipe and then take our arms completely away from our chest by taking them beyond our head and then feeling the stretch on our chest muscles. Remember your chest is primarily focused on doing adduction. Here we are doing abduction, basically moving our arms away from the midline of the body. So our muscles, are, our chest muscles are now getting stretched out and due to the angle of the fibers running in your chest, this is the area where your chest gets the maximum amount of stretch. You need not take a heavy bar. A lightweight bar is more than sufficient. Heavy bar might put some stress on your shoulder joint. So just choose to take a PVC pipe to do this stretch. Do the stretch for 3 to 4 times holding 10 to 15 seconds every time. And that should be enough to regain the neutral length of your chest muscles. Or if you have any kind of discomfort, it will also release the tension there. If you did like the today's video wherein the exercises were pretty basic and simple but with high intensity, do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I would request a subscribe because that would give me a lot of positive feedback and help me pushing, keep pushing this forward. If you have any feedback, please drop it in the comments. If you want me to add an exercise, I would definitely do that in the routine and you know in such a manner that it is effective. And also show you how it is done and now we move on to our tricep stretch pretty simple get down on your knees place your elbows on a bench and slowly push your head down creating a stretch in your keep your elbows completely flexed in to create this uh, stretch in your triceps thank you again for joining me uh, that's it for today's exercise routine if you want you can do a little bit of cardio post this but i'll see you in the next video thank you and have a good day